Okay, I just got up. This is my point of view. Got the mosquito net and uh, I'm heading out to work out. So you're gonna be able to uh, see the workout facility and see what I do here at GoldenEye. But I almost forgot that at the lake, at the Lagoon Villa, I have this view in the morning. And there is nothing like mornings at GoldenEye, I promise you. All right, so we had a uh, incredible first night, a very, very generous, happy hour that went well into dinner, an amazing dinner. And then a bunch of us actually took some drinks and went right outside of my lagoon villa, jumped into the lagoon and just swam around for a few hours. And then at some point, I think we started even listening to Bond music and doing Bond quotes. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. And that's our first night at GoldenEye, but it is 5.20 a.m. right now. The birds of GoldenEye, they're chirping. That was no sound effect. And I've got to go work out, but there's nothing like working out in the surrounding of a place like this. So you're going to come with me. Let's go. So first of all, the motivation to get up in the morning and Adam to start the day is I'm going to be drinking and eating as you do at GoldenEye, of course, but this this is going to allow me to do that with a little bit less guilt. But I'll tell you what it is also, you get to be the first one in the morning with these views. Not too shabby. And in order to get to the gym is an adventure to itself. You've got to make your way through the paths wherever you're staying and then over this amazing adventure bridge. And it really is. It's like an adventure bridge because you are heading away from the residential area into a very, as you can see, dense forest. We're going to go past the gazebo and up past registration because again we are going out and about the great lobby and over onto the path so literally there's a fork in the road you've got the ian fleming villa that way you've got the road that way and this is the way to the spa in the workout area. And this is the way we're gonna go. Now the great part is the waypoint, the, 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 the thing that tells you you know where you're going in the right way is this amazing gnarled, almost wizened tree, like something from Lord of the Rings. That tells you that you are in the right place. You're gonna gently cross over and folks, you are now amongst the roots of your very existence, which is fitness and health. And this is the outdoor workout area. Okay, so you can sort of see why exactly I love this way to work out. You're out in the open. You hear these birds, these exotic birds everywhere. The croquis frogs are still going off. Croquis, croquis. They're probably not called croquis frogs in Jamaica, but I may make mistakes in every video. So here I am doing that, but we're going to get to working out. And what I love about this workout too is this is all using mother nature and gravity. 
you're just pulling, you're pushing, you're using your body weight. There's no, there's no weights out here. Again, there's no treadmill. So we're just using our cells and this beautiful environment. Let's get to it. Okay, okay, well, um, I did about 20, maybe 25 minutes. I, not a lot, <laughs> but I did all of the rounds. I'm probably gonna do one more round. And I did it slowly, I did everything that the science had to say to do, I'm, I'm feeling it. Now, I have a suspicion that it could be because I have a lot of rum in me from the happy hour and the drinks last night. There was something called the rum ting which is, it almost tastes like there's like pineapple and passion fruit in Blackwell rum. And there were maybe a few of those. I don't know. People kept buying me drinks. So maybe I'm feeling a little bit of that, but the sweat is pouring out. It is getting a little bit brighter out as you can tell now, but I think I'm gonna try to do one more round. And here's the thing. There's, I'm gonna get you a little dizzy. There's nobody here right now. So I can make the decision and just figure out what I want to do and then just do it. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll leave you to it. There's so many other active things that you can be doing at GoldenEye. You can be doing kayaking and snorkeling and, oh my gosh, uh, swimming, obviously. And just, it all goes on and on and on. So this isn't the only one. You don't have to get fat and happy. You can get healthy and happy at GoldenEye is my point. All right, I'll leave you to it. This has been David Zorzky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.